some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Indiana once again with uh, Craig Hendry as he is calling from jail, begging for money, and claiming he is on a hunger strike because he doesn't want those sweat meat sandwiches they serve in the jails. You'd better get used to the food, boy, because one day that's where you're gonna head is right into prison for a number of years, given your personality. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking show on the road, shall we? Hello, everybody. This is Craig Hendry, citizen journalist, reporting from the Vermilion County Jail in Indiana. Today's date is October 29th. It is my 13th day in here. Uh, 11 full 24-hour periods have transpired, but including the day I got here and the day I am currently living in, it is the 13th day. I have not eaten a single meal that they have tried to serve me as I don't trust my captors. Call me crazy. Now, I don't know what it's like to be in jail, but I do watch channels on YouTube that uh, talk about it all the time and who have the experience to know what it's like, such as the After Prison Show, Lockdown 23 and 1, Larry Lawton, and J.D. DeLay. They will all tell you the exact same thing about the sweat meat sandwiches, the hockey puck, like pancakes. Yeah, those kinds of things. And the message from all of them, jails are not meant to be resorts, dumbass. But I have just gotten some food that I have bought. I get to keep my dignity and buy some food. Uh, with the help of some support from Chili DeCastro, Team DLZ, my girlfriend, and my, my brother, my best friend Tyler, who is helping me out with all of this stuff. Oh, so you're getting support from Chili De Castro? Well, you might want to talk to your fellow frauditor that goes by the channel name Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom. Don't you remember the time that well, he screwed over that particular frauditor and left him high and dry. So you might want to watch your back because Chili is not one to be trusted even among you guys. So I'm thankful to them that I get to eat some food. It's a little bit like dog food. I just ate a bowl of rice and mackerel without the ability to cook either one. But I want to get into today's update. So the 29th, that means that we have got three more days until I have court at an evidentiary hearing. That's going to be where the judge decides what evidence he's going to allow the jury to see and what evidence he's not going to allow the jury to see. To see. Maybe you should consider uh, going after an actual attorney to get you all squared away. Because I know these frauditor attorneys like Chile de Castro We'll only get you into deeper trouble if you listen to them. But hey, why don't you go ahead and do that? Listen to Chile de Castro. Get him to help you out with all your legal troubles. Let him uh, draw up the legal documents in crayon, and you should be set. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a vital hearing. It's very, very important. I hope to see some of you there. I know that we've got a few people coming. I know that my friend uh, Jeff and Tina, and of course Tyler will be there. My friend Jacob, who is the YouTube channel Lil Alpha on YouTube. I assume he will be there. But what I want to talk to you all today is my thoughts on this case. So I've been pretty bad at covering it because I'm in jail. It's hard for me to go back and edit stuff. But I am in this jail, Vermilion County, Indiana, on charges of felony stalking and two counts of misdemeanor harassment. Now, the stalking charge and the harassment charges, from what I understand, are, they, they're basically saying, supposedly, that I stalked and harassed a public employee who works in the mayor's office, the mayor's office of the city of Clinton, of which I was investigating in the summer and following months of 2023. Oh, so that's what you're calling it? You're not calling it uh, stalking, you're calling it an investigation? Yeah, sure, Craig. We all know that you were, uh, well, investigating this government worker. I mean, hell, I mean, let's just take a look at uh, 
Well, what Al Capone did, I mean, he investigated a lot of his uh, personal rivals and, uh, well, a lot of his personal rivals ended up becoming scuba divers, wearing the latest in concrete scuba gear. I uncovered information that painted them in a bad light, and so in retaliation, they all, well, I, I think it was two people conspired to file uh, stalking charges against me. I guess only one of them went through in the courts. But ultimately, this case, in my humble opinion, comes down to two questions. Two questions of law that I think are pretty basic. Right? Uh, the first question is, does the First Amendment allow citizens a right to ask questions to and of government employees, even uncomfortable questions? So you don't want to go to the top to get to the corruption? You want to... Uh... Uh, target the uh, lower-ranking uh, members of the uh, job force to uh, get your answers. Yeah, that doesn't really make any sense, dude. If you want to weed out corruption to the top and work your way down, and then you'll find the corruption, you won't find it going bottom up. And the second question is, does the First Amendment protect a right to publish publicly accessible and public information on the internet, right? So these two questions I think are fairly straightforward, and if one would answer this, it would pretty much settle the case, right? If we have a right to do these things, then I'm not guilty. But of course, if we don't have a right to do these things, then, uh, you know, it's very questionable what, what could happen, because if, uh, if they're trying to say that you don't have a right to ask questions of a government employee, well then, you know, they'd call me guilty, because I ask questions, <laughs> you know? See, the First Amendment wasn't put into place to protect people's right to say things that are not, you know, in any way inflammatory, right? The First Amendment protects people's rights to say things that are inflammatory, to say things that are uncomfortable, and to say things that make people feel angry or, or spiteful. Yeah, Craig, there are a lot of lawyers out there that would... Uh really disagree with your statement, especially when it comes to slander and libel laws, not to mention the fact there's a lot of laws out there that talk about fighting words and everything like that when it comes to disorderly conduct. So what you're saying is a load of bullshit. And of course, if we don't have that right, then we don't have the right to criticize our government, right? And that's what this case is ultimately going to be deciding. I want everybody to know that before I came into jail, the prosecution in this case offered me a plea. They said, look, Craig, you don't need to go to jail today, at least not to our jail. You can get out, you can serve probation, just admit that you harassed these people. And of course I didn't harass them, so I, I couldn't morally do that. But of course I know that something bigger is at stake than just my freedom or than just my, my criminal record here. What's at stake is the government's ability to prosecute people for asking questions of the government. And it's so heinous, it's so essential that we that we win, that we prevail in this case, whether it be in the trial court, whether it be in an appellate court, or whether it be in a federal court. It doesn't matter. We must prevail in this case. And that's why I'm in here. I'm going to stay strong. Everybody, I know that, that a few people have covered this situation. My best friend Tyler, of course. Eric has gone live on my channel a few times. I truly think that... Uh Good old Craig here has been uh, taking way too many blows to the head. He seems like he has some sort of messiah complex going on right here. I mean, you need some help, dude. Chili to Castro over at Delete Laws and uh, Here's the Deal has covered this at, over on his YouTube channel, Here's the Deal. And I'm very grateful to those people. And I want everybody to know that they shouldn't worry about me while I'm in here. And although it is tough, I am equipped with the mental powers to persevere through <clears throat> through these tough times. And I am prepared to do whatever it takes to make sure that liberty is victorious in this trial. So with that being said, everyone, I think that a lot of people are asking questions about uh, you know, how to support, what can you do. The best way to support is to show up and show your support in person. To, to watch the trial, to see what the government's trying to do. But other ways for support, if you're not close by, is my family is out there without me right now. As much as, uh, as, much as I am equipped to last in here, and my family isn't, isn't going to be, uh, <clears throat> well, they're, not, they're certainly not going to be starving for the next couple of months, 
you know, who knows how long I could be in, in jail. You know what, uh, Craig? You really need to grow up. You don't need to be doing all this BS with a family to take care of. I mean, you've got this girlfriend that you done knocked up twice, and now there's a potential that she might be raising these kids alone for a while. I mean, come on now, dude. You have some problems here, and uh, you need to take care of business before, yeah, your uh, children grow up not knowing where their daddy is because, you know, he's in prison for his misdeeds and overall self-destructive personality. Who knows how long I can serve. And so my family does need your support. And uh, my cash app and my PayPal links will be in the description below for that. Anything is appreciated. I don't even really have access to that stuff. Tyler can attest to that. Uh, you know, I haven't even really gotten a whole lot of money from myself in here. It's really been a lot of you as uh, supporters and, and people who have come on and put money on my books of their own volition. Uh, my friend Jeff is one of them. So shout out to him. But uh, if you would like to support me on this journey and support my family while I'm in here and enable me to stay in here and, and fight for liberty, please donate to those links. All help is appreciated. So court dates. Court dates are November 1st at 1 p.m. in the Vermilion County, Indiana Courthouse. That's in Newport, Indiana. The trial is scheduled as of now for November 19th through November 21st. That will, I assume, that will be set in stone on the November 1st date. And so we are going to see what happens. With that being said, thank you to everybody for your support. Oh, so you claim that you're fighting for liberty, Craig, huh? Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, and maybe your little fantasy world won't come crashing down on you when reality finally sets in. And you begin to realize how much of a royal screw-up you are. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?